Hey guys, my name is Anthony and I'm a laser business owner. Our laser business is called Built by Bacala. For the last few months, we've been able to work with all these different products Xtool has to offer. And I've got to say from the diode lasers to the CO2 laser, I've been blown away time and time again. We started working with the screen printer a few months ago and it's been so much fun. I've been able to take old designs that I've had for years and transform them and use them in brand new ways on t-shirts, on prints, and everything else. Today I'm going to walk you through how simple and easy it is to work with this new process and their new screen printer. I'm going to be working with my dad to make an International Woman's Day shirt. Alright, for our first step we're going to go ahead and prep the screen. What I absolutely love is the ability to reuse these frames and screens. We're going to make sure that when we set this, set this up, our cardboard is face down in the area, and then I can see the grooves ready to set up. I'm going to start down at the bottom, want to place pressing down firmly, and then kind of twisting forward. You'll notice that there's some little grooves right here. I can feel that it's actually not sliding. I got to slide it over just a bit, and I can see that it fits perfectly in those notches. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for all the other areas. Now I'm ready to remove our cardboard. There's a little tab here I can go ahead and press and then I can peel off easily. To ensure that it's tight, I should be able to hit it and make kind of a drumming sound. Good to go. Now I'm ready to add this to our laser to prep our screen. When I'm gonna go ahead and burn our image on here, I gotta be mindful of a few things. First off, we've got two sides. We can see here the difference. When we go to print in a little bit, our screen is gonna go inside the printer and then come down. We'll have our design and we'll be squeegeeing. Because of that, we need to have a reflected image which we're gonna set up in just a moment. However, when we laser, we also wanna make sure that we're doing the burn with this side face up. So I'm gonna make sure to get that set up right now and then walk you through the next steps. All right, now we're gonna prep our laser. I'm gonna take the honeycomb out of my unit, set it to the side. Because we have our riser base, I'm gonna take my riser base, my plate out, flip it upside down, and we're gonna go with the 1A position. I can get down and see where that's at with ease. And we're gonna slot it in accordingly. Now my laser's ready to go. Now my screen is ready to go in the laser. It's gonna go into the printer this way. So what I like to do knowing that when I'm gonna have my image flipped at the top of my t-shirt is gonna be here. I like to make sure I've got this part facing down towards the bottom. I'm gonna slide it in. And now we're ready to get our image prepped and lasered. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and prep our design on the screen. I'm gonna remember again, so the bottom of it's gonna slot in right here. This will be the top of my design where my t-shirt will sit. So first I'm gonna go ahead and rotate 90 degrees. Another thing I wanna remember is because we're gonna be screen printing, I need to mirror this. So I'm gonna reflect horizontally and vertically. So now I've got my image mirrored. Now I'm going to size it accordingly. I want this to be a pretty large design. All right, so now I'm gonna size everything up. I can see that it automatically centers with where the center of my frame is gonna be. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in position where I want it to be when I'm ready to print. I'm gonna slide it a little bit further up here so it sits closer to the collar of the shirt. For my settings, we're gonna go with 75% power, 500 speed, one pass, and 200 lines per centimeter. 
everything's ready to go. I've got my distance dialed in. I've got my cut settings ready and we're ready to process. family, being able to expose them to creative arts, working with the laser, and all kind of possibilities. This was a super fun design. It didn't take any time at all, and it was so cool being able to see you do this. Anyone can do this. I hope you guys are inspired, and if you have any questions, please drop a comment below. Us and the Excel team will be happy to guide you.